channel. If you're new here, welcome, welcome. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button. Today I'm going to answer some of my most frequently asked questions about my curly hair. We're going to be doing FAQs all about my way of nouveau. It's so be now. touch it what will your hair look like at the roots da, 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 da. we're gonna be answering all of those questions I'm spilling all of my tea on what I did to my hair how I keep it up and what I plan to do with it in the future so don't forget to hit that subscribe button I'm getting ready for the day and I'll show you what I look like after I get done with all of my hair and makeup for today and then we'll jump into the topic of answering my most frequently asked questions, whether that's live in person in my community or here on YouTube or on my other social media platforms. If you're not following me already, I do have a Facebook page and an Instagram page with the same name, Sincerely Mrs. Griffin. So head over there after this video so that you don't miss anything concerning curly hair or low carb cooking. So this is my super simple look for today. I've got my hair half up, half down, and I'm done with my makeup. Super simple makeup with a drastic lip. Okay, so my hair looks on the back. So let's answer some FAQs. Okay. Let's get into those FAQs, my most frequently asked questions, all about my Wave Nouveau or Curly Perm. I have my notebook here and I have my tea. I'm spilling everything right now. One of the most frequently asked questions that I get is, what did I have done to my hair? I get this question all the time. People usually start out like, so... Your curls look different, but I can't figure out what you did. What did you do to your hair? Well, I got a Wave Nouveau. It is a curly hair perm or a curl reformation. Basically, I went from my biological God-given hair curl pattern, which was a 4A, to my chosen curl hair form pattern because I chose the roller set that I wanted to use. And if you wanna know which rollers I used for my hair, I went with a gray, the gray rollers and the white rollers. My hairstylist did a mix of the two. The next question I get asked a lot is, where did you get it done? I got my hair done here in Northwest Florida at the uh, Smart Style Salon in Walmart. And before you go this in Walmart, the reason why I got it done there was because there was a stylist there that I trusted that I asked a whole bunch of questions to. If you go back and watch my Wave Nouveau salon experience video, you get to see the whole thing happen. It's a short video, about five minutes, but stay here on this video and finish this one first and then you can go watch that one. But anyway, the lady that did my hair, I trusted her with my hair. I knew that she knew what she was gonna be doing to it and I went in and asked her a bunch of questions about the process, what would it look like? What would it do to my hair? I came in with pictures. I was prepared. I Googled. I got on YouTube and tried to find out some information. I tried to find some videos of some girls that had hair similar to mine before and then to see what mine would look like after. And um, I just trusted Miss Denise that she knew what she was doing with my hair. And funny story, I actually went in. I made an appointment and I went in the first time to get it done. And when she told me about all the process, that it would take to get my hair from 4A to what it is now, I got nervous, I got cold feet, and I actually turned around and left the salon. I told her, I was like, I just can't do it. But I brought her a nice little gift anyway, just to say thank you, and she was really appreciative, and 
Um, then the second time I made my appointment, I said, Miss Denise, I'm ready to do this. I'm ready for a change. And this is what I want to do with my hair. And I went in, I was still really, really nervous. If you watch the video, you'll be able to see how nervous I was, but I went in and I just had it done and I have loved it ever since. Like, has it taken some getting used to? Yes, obviously, yes. It will take getting used to because it is a chemical process and it does take time to get used to it from going from being 100% natural to now having this permed hair. Like, are the, um, system's gonna be in place for just general good hair care. Am I still using the same system for general good hair care? Yes, but is the process the same? No, not exactly. And I'll explain that here in a little bit. Another question I get asked a lot is how much did it cost? Well, it's gonna cost, it's gonna vary from stylist to stylist and from where you are in the country. I've watched some YouTube videos where girls say they pay you know, upwards of $400, $500 for um, a Gina curl, or there's different names for it, but like the one that I got is called a Wave Nouveau, and it cost me $100 in tax and a tip. So that's what mine cost me was about $100. I don't remember the exact price, but I remember that it was a little bit over $100 for the whole thing. What products do I use? I'm actually gonna make a full video about all the products that I get that I use because that's another question that I get asked frequently is now that I have this uh, processed hair with the Wave Nouveau, what products am I using to uh, keep my hair healthy, keep my hair shiny, keep my hair, just care for my hair in general? And I'm gonna make another video because it's, it's just gonna be too much. Curly girls have a whole bunch of products like in my bathroom right now it's like a sally's under my sink so um just hang tight and i'll make that video and show you my most loved and most used hair care products i can tell you this for sure i can tell you one thing for sure i do have a couple of videos on here about my hair oil that i make and my body butter that i make those are two of my staple products that i use for the entire family's hair and for my hair that air hair oil We've been using it for, I, I wanna say like four years now, I've been making the hair oil and the body butter. It's really good for your hair. It has worked super well for my hair and my daughter's hair. And I make it and just, if people ask me for it, I make it for them or I give them the recipe and they can go make it themselves. Um, but those are the things that I do. I'm still doing, if you ask me like, what method am I using for my hair? I'm still using my same curly girl method which is the lock method of liquid oil cream. So I'm still using that process and taking care of my hair. And that has worked for me. It worked for me before, and that's the same thing that I'm doing now. Although some of my hair oils are a little bit different. Sometimes I use a little bit more of one thing and a little bit less of another thing. I will go into details when I film my um, curly hair products video. So just be on the lookout for that video. If you haven't hit subscribe yet, go ahead and hit subscribe and join me on this journey. If you're interested in getting a curly perm, check out some of my other videos. I'm going to film as much as I can of my hair and what the process has been like. I'm going on to month two of having this uh, hair and taking care of it and loving it. And so I'm trying to film as much as I can to get information out there as fast as I can on YouTube. So that way when other people like me come along and they wanna understand what is this about, what will it do to my hair? How much will it cost? When you guys ask these questions, looking on the platform of YouTube or other social media sites, you'll be able to come across my videos and go ahead and share this video with any ladies who are thinking about getting a curly perm, but maybe they're just not sure because of the process or the cost or how to take care of it. Share this video as a help to them and that will help me as well. Um, the other thing, other questions that I get asked a lot is, can I color it and can I straighten it? And the answer is yes and yes. But there's a caveat, I must say, that this is a chemical process that I did to my hair, similar to dyeing your hair, um, lifting your hair color, anything like that. Those are chemical processes. So if you want to color it and if you want to straighten it, you have to be aware that doing that could cause extra dryness and extra damage to the hair if not done properly or if done too often. 
One thing that I would say is um, I don't color my hair. I didn't color my hair when I was a natural and I don't plan on coloring my hair now. And the whole reason, the reason why I got my Wave Nouveau is because my curl pattern, I loved it. I had big, gorgeous hair, but I just wanted something different. I wanted the full length of my hair to show or most of it to show compared to having my 4A hair where the curls were just so tight and I just felt like, I just felt like I looked like Shirley Temple some days with the short hair up to here when knowing fully good and well that my hair strands stopped here. That's why I wanted to get it done. That's one reason. The other reason why I wanted to get it done was, you know, I wanted something different. I wanted to be able to see more length of my hair. I love wearing my hair um, straight, but I also love wearing my hair curly. And with the Wave Nouveau, it's kind of in the in between of those. In the, it's kind of right in the middle of those two things, where I get the I get a lot more length with my hair, so a lot more of my length shows, but I also get to wear my hair curly, and I don't have to use the flat iron in it. And that's one thing that I would say is, if you get this done, like my stylist told me, minimal heat. Repeat it with me, minimal heat. Don't use heat too often because your hair has already gone through a chemical process. Right now, what you need to do is just nourish it, love it, deep condition it, and just take care of it in, its, in the state that it's in. If you wanna do more stretched out, more straight looks, you can do other things. You can do bend two knots, you can do braid outs, you can do binding, different types of, there's different types of ways that you can stretch your hair to make it look more straight or to put it in different styles. Um, without using heat to straighten it. So you can color it, you can straighten it, but you run the risk of damaging it. So I would not recommend that you do that often. What has your breakage been like? What has your shedding been like? I think that my breakage and shedding has been the same as when I was natural. I feel like it's just about the same amount of hair when I do my deep conditioning treatments and when I co-wash in the shower, I think it's just about the same amount of hair that I'm finding in my hairbrushes or combs or even my hands from, from detangling as I did before. So I don't feel like it's changed any, if anything, I feel like it's lessened um, in some regards with the amount of hair that I, that I lose in the shower. My method of care and styling, I'm using um, the lock method, which is liquid oil cream. So I'm still doing the same thing that I did before when I had my natural hair. How often do you get it retouched? What a retouch is, is you'll go into your salon of choice with your stylist of choice, and what they'll do if they're properly trained and do it correctly, is they will just touch up the roots, just like if you had your hair highlighted or if you had your hair colored, you would just go in and get the part of your hair that has not been chemically processed, you would get that processed. And my stylist told me that a retouch is um, done about every six months, depending on how I feel about getting it done. Now, if I was someone who before came in to get this hairstyle and I had straight hair, it would be a drastic change from seeing that straight hair to seeing the curly hair. You would be able to tell like there's a big difference. But because I had curly hair before getting this done, when my hair grows in, it's gonna grow out curly. And what I think is gonna happen is I think that as my hair gets longer at the root, and since my coils are 4A, they're pretty coily, I think they're gonna actually, it's actually gonna cause my hair to look shorter because it's gonna lift it. It's gonna lift up all the hair because at the base, at the root, it's gonna be a much tighter coil. I don't think that it's gonna look um, very drastic, like from my natural hair to the perm hair. I think I'm gonna be able to blend it. Right now, like I said, I'm going on to month two, and I looked at my hair the other day, I can already tell that I have an inch of new growth. Like my actual God-given born curls are coming back in there, and I'm really excited to see that new growth. So I'm just gonna play it by how I feel if I'm ready to do it, to see if I should go back at that six month mark or if I should wait until the nine month mark. 
My husband is graduating in December, and so we have a big graduation ceremony, Lord willing, in December. And so, you know, I'm gonna wanna look right for that graduation ceremony for him because he's worked really hard. So that will be my six month mark is in December since I got this process done in June. So I will let you guys know if I'm going to get it done. And of course I will take cameras with me to film if I decide to get the retouch before his graduation. So the retouch is just going to be the perm again on the roots, on the new growth. And then she will, Miss Denise said that she will put the, the rollers back in all over my head and then rinse that out and you know do the whole the whole thing but the retouch should just be just the roots of your hair okay would i do this again and what's my overall rating of this process yes i would do this again i'm very happy with how it turned out there are some days where i'm like man i really miss like my big fro and my big hair and you know, one of the things that i actually really miss is just doing a pineapple where all of my hair is on top and it's just like short and curly and the curls are just sitting up there I always used to get compliments on that hairstyle and now because the curls are more elongated it doesn't sit the same way but there are other things that I can do so I'm exploring my options and trying new things I did just film a video about all the different ways that I style my hair for work and that are pretty easy to do. So if you wanna do that, it's the video right before this one. So go check that out and see how I film, how I style my hair for, uh, for a work day, all the different things that you can do. I have been very much enjoying this hairdo and getting used to it. I love wearing my hair down. I love being able to flip my hair. I love that when the breeze comes through my hair, like some of my hair actually hits me on the face. Like these are all new things that I didn't experience before because with 4A hair, like my hair, it moved, but it pretty much like stayed in its place. Like I didn't have hair like hitting me on the face or anything like that or just whatever. But I loved my hair before. I thank God for my hair before, but I love my hair now too. I love that I have more options. And you know, that's what I wanna convey to anyone who's watching is whatever hair God put on your hair head, be thankful for it, be happy with it, but just know that if you wanna change it, there's probably a stylist and a salon out there that can help you get the hair that you wanna get. And if you don't like it, guess what? Your hair is gonna grow back. It's gonna grow back. I have been relaxed with dead straight hair. I have been, I did my big chop where I had one inch of hair. I'll try and find a picture and insert it, but it was eight years ago when I did my big chop. And then I had my big, gorgeous hair that I also loved, 4A hair, and now I have this Wave Nouveau. So the sky's the limit on my hair and what it can do, and the sky's the limit on your hair too. If you guys have any other questions about a curly perm, the Wave Nouveau process, what I had done to my hair, how I take care of it, be sure to leave a comment down below, and don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more curly hair care, and some low-carb cooking tutorials. I love you guys. I'll talk to you guys in the next one. I'll talk to you guys in the next one. Bye. Oh, I almost forgot. I was gonna give my best tips for taking care of your hair, no matter what kind of hair you need. These are tips that any kind of hair can use. Okay, tip number one, I'm gonna say, don't forget to moisturize. Tip number two, deep condition. At least once a week, you should be deep conditioning your hair. Tip number three, don't skip out on the oiling. If you have fine hair, you have thin hair, you have looser curls, stick with a lighter oil, like a fruit oil or a seed oil. Think grape seed or almond, sweet almond oil, things like that. If you have thicker hair, more coily hair, heavier oils would work great for you. Like Think like a black Jamaican, Jamaican castor oil. That would work really well. And then also my fourth tip is limit the heat. Limit the heat, whether that's the blow dryer or the straightener or the straightener brush or whatever. Try to limit your heat. And Repeat it with me, minimal heat. But my best tip is just to go ahead and limit that heat. Okay, I love you guys. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.